A table of contents. Every formal technical paper will contain a table of contents, and that's immediately following the synopsis page. Now, a table of contents will list and locate by page number all of the chapters, all of the main sections in the document. We're going to create a dummy table of contents just to show you how it's done. I'll use a simple Word document to illustrate. Now, the table of contents occurs right after the synopsis page. You'll have to actually type in the title, table of contents. It's not created for you. In order to use Word's automatic function, what you need to do is select each of the chapter titles, each of the section titles that will appear in your table of contents. So you would select them, and on the Home tab, they would, by default, be under the normal style. You want to change them to be headings. So if I apply a heading style, then Word can pick up all of those headings at the end and create a table of contents. Now notice the heading style is not the style I want for my chapter title, so I'm going to make that change before I go any further. My chapter titles should be center justified, and they should be bolded, and we want to use a black font, and we want to use the same font we have been using. I'll use Cambria again, and I would have, of course, a line after it. With it selected, right-click on the Heading Style tool and choose Update Heading 1 to match selection. So now, having saved the correct ACS format as a heading style, when I select other chapter or section headings and change them from the normal style to a heading style, then they should remain properly formatted. Let's get the next heading. I'm going to pretend again that this is a chapter title. I select it. Notice by default it's the normal style. When I assign it a heading style, it keeps the proper formatting. Here's my third chapter, if you will. Make it a heading style. Here's, let's say this is chapter four, heading style. Next chapter, heading style. And so on through the document. I think I have one or two more here. Heading. And citations and bibliographies. And uh, one last one here. Spelling and grammar check and thesaurus. All right, so every one of my chapter titles have now been changed from a normal style to a heading style, and I've set that style to be what's needed for ACS. I can now have Microsoft Word create a table of contents for me. Choose the References tab and go to Table of Contents. If you slide down to Custom Table of Contents, you see the options that are available. Notice Word has selected Table of Contents tab already. And here's an, a preview of what this will look like. So we're going to show the page numbers, yes. We're going to right align the page numbers, that's correct. And we want the leader, the dotted leader tab. Notice by default that hyperlinks are used, which can move you through the document quickly, as I'll demonstrate in a minute. All right, let's say OK to that. And there's our table of contents, easily done. If you make any changes, move any of your sections, if the page numbers change because you add more pages, it's a simple matter to right-click and choose Update the field. And you want to update everything, page number and the entire table. Let's do both, and it'll make those changes for you immediately. Let's say, for example, I'm viewing this document online, I can take advantage of the hyperlinks. So spelling and grammar checks. Control and click takes me directly to it. A very nice tool for creating tables of contents.